Hey guys, it's Skylar Bouchard from NYC Dining, and you're watching Skylar in the Kitchen. We are here at the lovely Salt House studio, and I'm sporting this adorable Salt House apron, and I'm gonna make you some pumpkin pie overnight oats. This is the perfect thing you can see here. It's this adorable little jar. It's the perfect breakfast for Thanksgiving. It's the perfect healthy dessert for Thanksgiving, and it's super easy to make. You can make a huge batch and give everyone little mini jars or make it for yourself. Great recipe, and I'll show you how to make it. So first, you're gonna start off with half a cup of almond milk. I'm using some low-cal stuff here. Nice, yeah, 40 cal in a cup, but I mean, like, you can use whatever you want. And just add half a cup. And then you're gonna add a fourth of a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt. I like to use vanilla Greek yogurt because it naturally adds a sweeter taste. You don't have to add as much maple syrup and sugar and whatnot, um, even though the vanilla yogurt probably already has sugar in it. Um, so you're gonna add that. And then a fourth of a cup of pumpkin puree. I'm using my lovely, I don't even know what that is. Mm. And then you're just gonna pop that in. Yep, there you go. And then you're gonna add your spices. And what you're gonna do, so usually I'm gonna wipe my hand here on a nice, beautiful paper towel, because this apron's too pretty, I don't wanna ruin it. Um, and so you're gonna add some pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have this here, which is already prepared pumpkin pie spice, you can use cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and there's one more. I totally forget, so there you can Google that. Okay, here we go. So add half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And kind of just dump that in. And just for some extra sweetening, a little bit, just some different notes here, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of maple syrup. There we go. And then a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. We don't have to use as much because we used vanilla yogurt. So there we go. And then before we add our oats and our, um, where are the spoons in here? Let me find one. Okay, here they are. Um, before we add our oats and our dates, I'm going to whisk this all together just so the ingredients combine. So you're just gonna just keep whisking. Just hang out. Skylar, what's your favorite kind of overnight oats? I made a really good strawberry shortcake one, and that's something I actually love to make. It's vanilla Greek yogurt, strawberries, a little bit of agave nectar, and some oats, and you just throw it in overnight. Super delicious and pretty good for you. Love the vanilla Greek yogurt. All right, so you can see that this here is all combined. It kind of looks like pumpkin pie. The lighting here does not show the orange tones as beautifully, but trust me on this. So then you're gonna add your oats, and um, it's recommended to use rolled oats. They just soak it in more. So I'm gonna whoop, pop those in. And then I like to add some pitted dates. I like to chop them and just throw them in because I notice when these sit overnight, it all kind of becomes this, I, how do you explain, very dense, moist mixture. It's so tasty in the morning. And the, uh, the dates add such a fun element to that texture. So it kind of help it stick to together. So I add about two that I chop and then I leave a third one for the topping. So there we go. There's some dates. You throw that in there and then you mix again and just make sure everything is thoroughly combined. And I like to kind of just like dab it a little because I want to make sure those dates don't get stuck together because they're really sticky. And there we go. I'm just gonna taste it. Tastes like pie. Love that. If you don't like pie, I don't know. I don't know, I don't trust, yeah. So, the next step here is to basically just pour this in a lovely little jar. I use these, um, these like eight ounce ones and hopefully I don't spill everywhere. Oh, I'm going to spill everywhere and I feel it. Let me get a little spoon. <laughs> when I said little spoon, I definitely was talking about a little spoon. Okay, so just kind of guide it out. Not working here. Okay, all right. I'm gonna get a big spoon. 
Thank God. Thank God for big spoons, you know? And then just make sure you get the rest and dump it in there. This is the perfect amount for an eight ounce jar. So if you want to make little shot glasses, this would probably be like three little shot glasses. I think this is a great party treat, what are layered. You doing again? So for everyone that's tuning in, I'm making a pumpkin pie overnight oat jar. And this is such a delicious breakfast and it's a healthy dessert. I think something fun you can do for Thanksgiving is make this in little shooters and layer it with like pomegranates and cranberry sauce, anything you think. So it really just depends on what you fancy. Okay, of course I made a mess because I'm a messy person. And so usually you're gonna let this sit overnight. So, but the magic that I did, we're gonna pretend it's ready. This is what it looks like when it's done and I'll show you the consistency. But what you're gonna do when it's finished, I mean, if you don't want to let this sit overnight, you can let it sit for like four hours. It soaks it up enough. Okay, so what you're going to do when it's finished, you can either top it with some pecans. I would recommend toasting them. So yummy. And walnuts. So I just like to add a couple on here, break them up. Is this great for Thanksgiving? Is this a Thanksgiving treat you came up with? Uh, this is a Thanksgiving treat I came up with. It's something healthier, which is not usually what I do, but I love to find creative ways to eat healthy, um, and I've noticed pumpkin, it's not bad for you, it's actually quite good for you. Might as well make it into a nice breakfast and yeah, eat it. So top with these, walnuts and pecans, um, and then you can either add some cranberries. I like pomegranates because everyone's using cranberries and I like to be a little different. So I'm gonna just add some pomegranate in here. Um, just top with that. This one's overflowing because I think it's beautiful when jars overflow. But you probably shouldn't do that. Take that out. Um, something also that you can do is make it really fun by layering the oat mixture with some pomegranates, maybe some extra Greek yogurt mixed with pumpkin pie spice, sugar, super fun. Um, and then, yeah, just throw some more walnuts on there. A pecan or five. And... Um, yeah, also guys, don't forget to restream this recipe if you want it for Thanksgiving, which I recommend, or Friendsgiving, and ask us any questions you may have about this delicious dessert or anything you want to try or learn how to make. Um, so you can see I kind of overflowed here because I am an aggressive person. But the last touch here is to top with some pumpkin pie spice. And if you don't have that, just cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and just a little, little dab here. And then there you go. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna switch out this beautiful mess I made. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so if you wanna eat it, I'll show you how the consistency changes. I guess I'll just use this tiny golden spoon because I feel really cool using it. And I, if you have one, you should probably use it too. Okay, so you can see here, everything kind of just came together so beautifully, I like to think. I like to pat myself on the back here. Um, and then just go in. You're gonna have some overflowing action with the toppings. But you see how it's a very thick consistency, super creamy, and that's thanks to the vanilla Greek yogurt and the pumpkin. And then we kind of smoothed it out with some almond milk, but. Is what you just mm. served for one serving? Mm-hmm. So the measurements that I gave here are for one serving of an eight ounce jar. I mean a walnut. Um, but like I was saying, if you want to serve this at your friend's giving or if you want to make it a party appetizer, this will probably fit about three shot glasses. So I think like little pumpkin pie shooters and they're healthy. Good idea. I think you make them. Um, but yeah. Can you do this with other flavors other than pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. Overnight oats, you can do so many fun things. I've made, I like, I don't know what it is. I like to inspire all of my overnight oats by desserts. So, or they're inspired by desserts. I did like strawberry shortcake, banana cream pie, that's a good one. You add bananas, vanilla Greek yogurt, cinnamon, maple syrup, mix it up, let it sit overnight, throw some more bananas. Super simple. Mm. But yeah, guys, so I think you really should make this easy, overnight. You literally do nothing except for pour it and mix it, so. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and 
I will see you next time on Skylar in the Kitchen. I'm gonna go in here.